Let's get this party started. When you own a bar, you live for celebrations. That's why I wish it was a holiday. You know what? It is. It's St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day, guys. Sounds like we need a lucky charm. Or a victory shot. Me thinks they found me lucky charms. Today, I'm going green, but I'm not here to save the planet. I'm mixing the grasshopper. This prohibition cocktail is green. You get it? On St. Patrick's Day, you can honor a saint who died on this very day, but that's probably not what you do. Instead, you drink excessively and party until you can't see straight. Though these two don't sound like they go together, their history is more intertwined than you might expect. During Lent, Christians often give up a lot of things like food and alcohol. But years ago on St. Patrick's Day, they were allowed to break their fast to honor the great saint. This led to a day of big meals and heavy drinking. Why we started dyeing our beer green, I have no idea. But some things are better left to the mystery. Two ounces of heavy cream. One ounce of a white cream to the cow. One ounce of cream to the mint. Add ice and do a heavy shake. Garnish with nutmeg. That's the grasshopper. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Today's word of wisdom is hypocrisy. Take this pandemic. I was at the hardware store yesterday and it was slam packed. People everywhere. And that's fine with me. Now, the store had done everything it was told it had to do. Plastic barriers, hand sanitizer, markings on the floor. But when I went to the front to pay, they had nearly 20 checkout lanes, and only two were open, and they were side by side. So there we all were, crammed in two lines, gasping for breath, doing the st staggered, sideways, head shuffle to get fresh air, but hey, the store had done its part. It put markings on the floor to keep us safe. My point is, anyone can meet a status quo. Anyone can follow the rules to the T, but no one uses their common sense to take it further than the T, like to the U or the V, the W, the X, Y, or Z. Just because you can regurgitate the information that you read in a pamphlet or a textbook or heard on the TV, that doesn't mean you have the smarts to apply it in the real world. Sounds like we need a lucky charm. Can we do that again? I pulled the... Okay. Sounds like we need a... Bit. 